Welcome back, Video Game Voter Vanguard. This is your boy, P-City Substance. We're here with another episode of the Video Game Voter. Uh, so, this past couple weeks, we had a few things going on um, in the gaming community. Um, a few big events coming up. Uh, but before we get to that, I just want to talk about a uh, recent uh, pickup I had. I went to uh, GameStop, and they had a big sale, uh, for, like a tax refund sale, where games were... Uh, had very large discounts, uh, brand new titles, and not just pre-owned. So um, it was a list of games that I wanted to pick up. So I did. Um, so just to name, well, I'm gonna name a couple. I ended up picking up five games, and for less than a hundred dollars too, might I add. So game number one, which I'm gonna show you some footage as we're speaking, is Mega Man 11. Um, I came across this. Hope the glare from the lights not messing up. But I came across this. I was in GameStop one day. And they had the demo playing, uh, a playable demo on the Nintendo Switch in the kiosk. And I thought, man, that game looks great. And as you can see in the footage, it, it looks very, very impressive. Uh, it looks, it, it's an awesome game. It's a great game to play. Um, I haven't put a great deal of time into it just yet. But I have been playing and I do enjoy it. It's an excellent game. Uh, next game I pick up, it was a, uh, oh, and that was on sale for $24.99 new, by the way. Um. So if you didn't make that sale, I know I talked about it a couple episodes on uh, a couple episodes ago on the video game votary. I think two two episodes ago. Um, if you guys missed that sale, you definitely missed out on a good deal, especially if you're a uh, pro member like myself. Um, another game they had on sale for it was twenty nine ninety nine uh, was uh, Fallout. I think seven game of the year. Um, so I was talking to a couple of the associates in GameStop, and they were basically saying that they didn't feel like that was a true uh, Fallout title and that it wasn't that great. And they said, if you've never experienced Fallout like I haven't, they said to check out Fallout 4. So that's what I did. Picked up Fallout 4 for PS4. And um, so I picked that up and it was about uh, maybe eight or nine bucks pre-owned. So I picked that up for the PlayStation 4. Um, you also gonna see footage of that as well. Um, that's a seems to be a fun game, uh, first person shooter. Um, the story the storyline definitely seems interesting. I put a little bit of time into it. I did stream some gameplay on a video game body live stream here on the channel a few weeks ago. Um, I haven't had time to put a great deal of uh, time invested into the game just yet, uh, but so far so good. I do like it. It does seem very impressive, and I'm intrigued by it. Uh, another game I picked up. Uh, this is a game that I used to really be heavy into uh, a few years ago, but not so much anymore. Um, I haven't been into sports games too much as of late, but uh, I do have fun like when my brothers or my cousins come over. That's normally our thing playing like Madden 2K, and that's pretty much it because I'm, I'm the only one maybe in the Call of Duty and like RPGs, adventure games, etc. So um, actually, because of the sale... It was on sale for $24.99 new. I picked up a copy of Madden 19. Um, I did play um, maybe a game or two. Um, there's some differences uh, year to year. It's not really a big change in Madden's. They kind of are what they are. Uh, being that it was $24.99, I went ahead and picked it up because I could see like my brothers or my cousins coming over, and that'll be a game of choice that we'll play. So I picked that up. Uh, also picked up... Um, a game, a genre game that I haven't even really invested any time in for a long time just because I just wasn't impressed with um, the games in the uh, past, I don't know, man, maybe 10, 15 years, honestly. Uh, but I decided to because, again, it was a great sale, great price, brand new, twenty nine ninety nine, WWE 2K19, also for the PS4. Um I put a little bit of time to play a couple matches. There's some things that I don't like. One main thing I don't like is uh, the method to kick out of a pinfall where you basically got to hold the X button and release it. It just seems like it's a little sticky. Like when you initially press it, it doesn't seem like the uh, meter's moving and it kind of frustrates me. I lose a lot of matches because of that because I press it again and it stops. So. It's some time I got invested if I want to get any better in it. Uh, but graphics-wise, it does seem like it's a great game. It plays really well. Um, 
and I think if you put the time in to like creative wrestler, or creative player, stuff like that, it'll definitely be something that you can put time in. And I know that it is some people online that that play pretty competitively uh, with this game, so that was pretty cool pickup. Another game I picked up. Um, well, before I get into this last game, uh, it was another game I wanted to pick up because I seen the fly first. Um, I wanted to pick up Splatoon. I believe it's the original one for the Nintendo Wii U. It was like maybe eight, eight or nine bucks pre-owned, but none of the stores in the area actually had it, so I couldn't pick that up, which was kind of a bummer because I haven't even played Splatoon 2, except maybe a demo on the Switch, so I wanted to check it out for the Wii U, but I was unable to pick that up. Uh, but the last game I picked up was um, the Pokemon Tournament game for the Wii U. Um, this was about maybe less than ten dollars pre-owned, and what I get, I'm not sure if it's an RPG or is it more like a Super Smash Brothers type of game. That's what I think it is, a Super Smash Brothers type fighting game. I haven't got a chance to play it yet, but just looking at the um, the back cover, I think it's more of your uh, typical Pokemon style RPG game. I think, which is cool too. Um, so I decided to pick that up. That was the last of the pickups for this past week. Again, that sale was really, really well. Uh, was really good at uh, GameStop. They had a lot of great games on sale for like 30 bucks and less brand new. So that was awesome. Um, so we're going to move on with the episode uh, coming up. And probably by the time you see this episode, uh, we got the uh, Game Developers Convention going down in San Francisco from March 18th through the 22nd. It's a week-long uh, uh, convention where, you know, you got uh, developers coming together. They're uh, revealing new console information, games, etc. Um, so if you're in the San Francisco area, uh, you got a chance to go pick, go by and stop by the uh, GDC, Game Developers Convention in San Francisco, uh, March 18th through the 22nd. It seems like it's going to be awesome. I wish I could go. But like I said in the previous couple episodes, I'm putting together money now so that I can um, have a good time at E3 coming up in June. That's in California. Um, one of the most notable things that's going to be happening at the Game Developers Convention is there's supposed to be a reveal and an announcement from Google with their first video game console. Um, there isn't much information being released. Um, there is a picture online of a um, supposed controller. It's allegedly, that's going to be the controller. I'll put that up so you can see that on here. You get a look at that. Um, but, I mean, it seems interesting. Um, they don't know if it's going to be like a streaming console or if it's going to be a hardcore, like a hardware-based console or not. I, I know from what I understand so far, it's not much information again, but from what I understand so far, there is a hardware-based console, but there's no no telling whether or not it's going to be physical copies or is it going to be straight streaming or downloadable content just yet. Um, so I'll be glued to uh, their, um, I'm sure they got a YouTube channel. I'll be glued to that. Um, just waiting for, you know, the press release and them speaking about the console and supposedly they were in works with Sega, which is awesome. So it appears that Sega is going to be making their comeback to the hardware uh, side of the gaming community, you know, uh, they haven't released hardware, I think, since uh, Sega Dreamcast. So this would be their first return since about 1999, um, which would be great. They could be great for the gaming community. We've definitely missed Sega. Even though they've been around on the software side, we'd like to see some hardware as well, uh, even though it seems like um, it's going to be Google's name on it. Uh, from what I can see with the picture of that controller, it has the Google voice button on the bottom, so I'd imagine they'll be able to co incorporate Google massively within this console so i'm interested to see what they got to offer and uh, of course we'll talk about it here on the video game voter and we'll get your thoughts and comments um down in the comment section let me know what you guys think any information you've heard about the google console uh do you think it's going to be a success a failure flop how you feel about a new developer coming to the gaming community um i personally i don't have a problem with it uh the more the merrier and it gives the gamers more of a choice so i think that'd be cool uh, also, um, speaking of consoles, also it's supposed to be announced. I don't know if it's going to be at Game Developers Convention or E3, but Xbox is in the works of a new console 
that is completely without this. It's no physical copy of this. It's going to be called the Xbox Maverick. It's going to be all digital download content only. And that's supposed to be the cheapest um, Xbox console to date. I don't know how I feel about that because they have already come out with, I think, four or five Xbox Ones. And now they're going to do another one uh, called the Maverick. I don't know where they got that name from. And then just to have one um, without physical copies, which is fine because some people don't actually like the physical copies. They'd rather download it. But I'd imagine that, well, I wouldn't imagine. I would hope that Microsoft put together this console with the thought process of be able to choose your hard drive size and with a rather large rather large hard drive size out the box because i would hate for them to do like in the in the past when they first released the xbox you know within a year they came out with the xbox one s with a um, relatively larger hard drive then they came out with the one x and it was just it's, it's too much they they actually is reminiscent of what sega did in the past by continually coming out with these different hardwares so my advice to them and let me know in the comment section if you agree stop with so much hardware i feel like they should be focusing their attention on next uh gen console at this point um the xbox one has done what it's done um it's still producing games it's still you know the you know one of the top consoles out right now so i just feel like at this point in the game with the xbox one it's kind of irrelevant it's been out about five years now and you're gonna come out with another one i just feel like that's a waste of time so but to each his own i don't agree with that um also other gaming news uh we have the release of the division two um from tom clancy and ubisoft that looks like it's an excellent game we'll check it out uh i haven't decided which platform i'm going to purchase it on but that'll be one i'll be picking up uh I'm trying to think what other gaming news um available uh halo supposed to be um the new halo game may feature a battle royale style mode um so be on the lookout for that uh I believe i can't remember what it's called but it's, uh halo is like a collection series and um the new one is supposed to possibly include a uh battle royale style mode um also playstation uh firmware update now allows um what is it called remote play so that you can you can now play your PlayStation library anywhere in the world from your iPad, tablet, Android, or Apple device, um, which is pretty cool to say the least. Um, prior um, consoles and things like that with remote play uh, haven't fared too well. There's a lot of lag and things like that. So I don't know how it is. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe that's something I'll give a shot. But. Uh, I mean, I mean, the initial thought is pretty cool, but hopefully it's developed well and it actually performs well. So that'll be pretty cool. So thank you to all the subscribers. We picked up a few new subscribers. Welcome to the video game Voting Vanguard. Um, I need you guys to do me a favor. Uh, to subscribe. Hit the like button on each episode. Uh, turn the notifications on for the channel. Give me a good rating and share with your friends let's build this vanguard up let's get the likes and subscribers up and get this channel where it should be because i'm here for for the people i'm a normal human being just like you guys and i work just like you guys like i continue to tell you i want you guys to know what i'm basically down to earth and i'm a real person like you i'm not a full-time youtuber who gets money reeling in and i'm able to just purchase these different things i still buy things on a budget because i have to function i have a family and i'm an adult and that's what adults do so don't forget hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section let me know what you guys are playing what's going on any news that you think i should do a video on report things of that nature uh also if you guys don't have a chance to watch the youtube video like if you're out and about check out the video game voting podcast which is the audio from each episode it is available on all podcast platforms um don't forget especially in apple itunes in the podcast section search video game voter is gonna pop right up uh don't forget to rate and like each episode the higher the ratings it is it's like a domino effect it will show on spotify stitcher things like that and they'll eventually move us to the front page so let's build that up don't forget to share like comment subscribe i appreciate you guys um we're gonna end the episode on that note this has been another episode of the video game voter i'm your boy p city substance video game voter thank you